On the crowded streets of Baghdad, one of the most popular vendors is the one who sometimes snarls traffic, the guy selling newspapers. Here's why that's remarkable. No, no, he was not able to sell them before. Restricted for years to just a handful of choices under Saddam Hussein, now more than a hundred newspapers are for sale. Before they, they couldn't write anything concerning the internal issues, you know. Now it's free for the guys to sell and the, and the people to buy. Just how thirsty for news are Iraqis? Take a look at this. Most people don't flock to military Humvees. That should tell you something. These Iraqis are jumping at the chance to read a newspaper written in English and Arabic put out by the military. A psychological ops unit puts the paper together and calls it Baghdad Now. 750,000 copies are given out each week. The goal? To try and present a factual account from the coalition point of view of what's happening here. It's become the ninth most popular newspaper in Iraq, which is pretty good for a bi-weekly, when the most popular is a daily. And it's the most widely distributed newspaper in the Middle East. And that, to me, that's incredible. This is incredible, too. These things used to be illegal under Saddam. Now, there are satellite dishes for sale on every street corner. It's available. Anything they, they, they need is available. Uh, cheap one, expensive one. Satellite dish sales have skyrocketed in Iraq over the past eight months. As little as 120 bucks will get you a dish.